Hello. If you don't know me, my name is Madeline. And right now I'm re dyeing touching up my hair. And I thought, what more of a perfect time to film a YouTube video? I think last month I read 14 books and two novellas. And I was like, there's no way I'm gonna be able to read that much again. In February, I read 15 books. They're all right here. They won't even fit in the frame. I had a lot of good reads and a lot of mm, reads like I just did not enjoy. But the only thing that I tracked this month like in my little book journal was the pages I read every day. And my average pages read per day was 199. Whatever you wanna do with that information. So let's get started with all of the books that I read this month. Starting off the month, I read a book that I've been putting off reading for a long time and you just saw it. The American Roommate Experiment by Alina Arm Armas. Armas, I'm really bad at pronouncing names, so I'm sorry. This is the companion novel to Spanish Love Deception. And that book was okay. It was just way too long for me. And this is about the girl from the first book's, I think, best friend. The couple from the first book are on their honeymoon or whatever. And the best friend has like a leak in her apartment. So she just goes to stay at her best friend's apartment. And this guy shows up and it's her cousin. The girl from the Spanish Love Deception's cousin. And uh, basically like he's there. I kind of forget everything that happens. It's in New York. If I'm gonna be honest, the fact that I don't remember the plot line of this book, I don't care to look it back up, says a lot. I give it two stars. <gasps> I didn't really like it. There wasn't a lot that like I was dying to know about and I don't think I would recommend it. Next, I read my first memoir of the year, Educated by Tara Westover. This book, I think everyone should read. It's about this girl who grows up in like the middle of nowhere, basically like on a mountain with a family that is like huge into conspiracy theories, but they're also religious. <sighs> and it's just bizarre the things that this girl had to go through in her family. It's insane. I enjoyed reading it. I don't give nonfiction books reading because this is someone's life and I don't want to put a rating on someone's life but you should read it. Next I read Gone Girl by Gillian Flynn. This has been out for a while and apparently it's also a movie. I ended up giving it four stars. Um, it's a thriller. This husband's wife goes missing and he is framed to have killed her but no one knows like if he actually killed her or what. It was just insane the things that went on in this book. I was not expecting anything to happen and I do recommend you read it even though it's kind of an old book. Next, I read The Assassin's Blade by Sarah J. Mass. This might have been my favorite read of the month. These are the five novellas that come before the Throne of Glass series, and I loved all of it. I'm not gonna give any explanation to the plot. There's a little controversy around if you should read this book first or read it like fourth or whatever, but I read it first and I am glad I did. It made me cry and you definitely should read it. I like it more than the Akatar books. Also, didn't say, Assassin's Blade, five stars. Anyways, Twilight was the next book that I read in February. Um, Twilight got two. I've never seen the movies. This was my first time reading the book and the writing is bad. It is. I think we can all objectively agree that it's bad, but I think the nostalgia was there. We just didn't get enough of Jacob. And so that's why I'm going to at least read the second book because I need to know like the Jacob side of the story. But if you don't know what Twilight is, I don't really, I think we all know what Twilight is. It wasn't like the worst thing ever, but also was not my favorite. And now I need to watch the movie. I then read Legendary by Stephanie Meyer. Stephanie Meyer is the author of Twilight. Stephanie Garber wrote this one. It's the second book in the Carval trilogy. I enjoyed this one more than Carval, but I was also kind of confused reading it. I was kind of confused in Carval and I was still kind of confused in Legendary. And I think it's just cause like, I'm not super connected to the story or the characters. My brain can't comprehend like what is going on in a book that I don't necessarily like. I ended up giving it three and a half stars because the ending saved it for me. I don't know. I'm just reading the Carval trilogy because I was told that you can read that before the Once Upon a Broken Heart trilogy and I have to do that if someone tells me that. Also, if you don't know what Carvel is, it's basically like this game that people go into or get invited to and it's like a whole bunch of magic stuff. It's a fantasy series. It's young adult, so it should be easy to understand, but I, my brain just can't. My brain just cannot compute what goes on in those books. Then while I was in quarantine with COVID earlier this month, I read this book, Ready or Not by Kara 
Cara Bastone in like one day and a half because I had nothing to do besides sit in my bed and read. This is about a unexpected pregnancy and I've never read a book with a unexpected pregnancy trope or whatever, but I honestly liked it a lot. You find out immediately in the book, like it's the first lines is her finding out that she's pregnant and stuff. And the only thing that I didn't like about this book, which is just an opinion of me, has nothing to do with the writing or anything, is that the person that I wanted her to work out with did not happen. But I still gave it three stars. I think I read it like right before Valentine's Day, romance, yeah. Not bad, I recommend it. And then on Valentine's Day, I read The Do-Over by Lynn Painter. And look at these amazing sprayed edges. I read this literally within one day on Valentine's Day. And this book is set on Valentine's Day. It's like the day starts over and over again. I gave this three stars. I did not connect to the characters a lot at all, honestly. It was a very short read. It was less than 300 pages, but I didn't really connect to the characters. I still would still recommend it. I think Better Than The Movies by her is way better. I'm still gonna read more of her books, but this was definitely Definitely not as good as better than the movies. Then I read Throne of Glass by Sarah J Mass. This is technically the first book in the Throne of Glass series and I liked it a lot. I ended up giving it five stars. I'm pretty sure she started writing this when she was a teenager and I can kind of tell like there were some lines that I was just like Ooh. It definitely feels like someone younger wrote this, but I still enjoyed it a lot. I was not bored. I think I am just addicted to Sarah J. Master's writing at this point. Uh, I think I'm probably gonna enjoy anything she puts out, but I did really enjoy this. It made me really excited to read the entire series. And I went into it with no information and I think you should too. Next, I read I Kiss Shara Wheeler, which is a library book. I need to take it back. Um, this is by Casey McQuiston, the same author as Red, White, and Royal Blue, which I love that book. That was a five star read for me. And I ended up giving this two stars. This is definitely a YA and I was just dragging through this. I was going into this thinking it was gonna be way more about romance, but there was way more of like a mystery element to it. It's about high schoolers. And I feel like if I was in high school, I would enjoy this way more but since I am a 22 year old, I did not enjoy it that much. I don't know if I would recommend it. I'm gonna return back to the library and probably never think about it again. I then read Winter in Paradise by Ellen Hildebrand. I've had this book on my bookshelf for so long and I finally read it and I actually really enjoyed it more than I thought I was going to. And I gave it three stars. Basically this woman, her husband dies in a plane crash and he crashes the plane in like a remote location that she's never heard about. And basically he has a whole second life that she had no idea about and you go through and learn about it. I think my complaints about this was the love triangle with the brothers, not a fan, but there's two more books in this like tri tri triology, triology, trilogy, trilogy, there it is. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna read them. Maybe I will because kind of a cliffhanger at the end, but three stars, it wasn't a bad book. I then read Killer Instinct by Jennifer Lynn Barnes. This is the second book in the Naturals series, I think is just what it's called. This is a YA series about kids that are a part of the FBI who just have like special gifts. Like one of the girls I'm pretty sure can like read body language and like know if you're lying or not or whatever. I think I liked the first book more than this one. I still gave it three stars. It was very quick. If I'm being honest, I don't remember the plot line, which usually means I didn't like the book, but I did like the book. I just don't remember what happened. So it didn't really stick with me. So that's why it's only like a three stars and like a four or five, but I'm gonna continue the rest of the series. I think there's two more books. I finished it probably within two days. I recommend. I then read The Mistake by L. Kennedy. I have the blue sprayed edges copy of this and I also have the original copy too. I'm collecting both of them because I am just crazy. I don't know why. But this is the second book in the Off Campus series. It's a hockey romance series. I definitely like the first one more than this one. I ended up giving this a two and a half. I think it's very physical the way that they are attracted to each other or how their love story starts. I think my problem with this was it just felt a little too repetitive. I still enjoyed her writing. I am going to read the rest of the books in this series because I don't know what it is about hockey romances. I just love them for some reason. The second to last book that I read in February was The Invisible Life of Addie LaRue by V.E. Schwab. Just based off the tabs of this book, you should know that this is a five star. This is a heartbreaking book about this girl who no one remembers her after they like leave a room. One day she meets someone that does remember her. She's been alive for like 300 years and it was beautiful. The writing in this is lyrical and, uh, and amazing and I loved every single second of it. It made me cry and I have not stopped thinking about it since I read it. You should read this. If you've been maybe putting this off and you're like, eh, I don't know if I'd like it, pick it up and read it. It's also in paperback now in the US at least. So, and the last book that I read in February was Unravel Bee by Tahara Mafi. This is the second book in the Shatter Me series. I'm pretty sure I read the first novella 
like in the beginning of January and I just finally read the second book in the series and I loved it. I loved it so much. Four stars. Um, this is a YA series about this girl who t if she touches someone they die basically and so she's been like locked up. It's a fantasy series forgot to mention. It's young adult so it's easy to comprehend and understand. There's a lot of crazy stuff that happens in this. I wasn't bored reading it. I think her writing is really good. There were even times where like I was reading this and I was underlining stuff. I didn't tab anything. Wasn't expecting to start underlining stuff in, in this book. Okay those are all 15 books that I read in February. How did I do that? I don't really do anything besides read, work, play Fortnite, make YouTube videos. It's my personality basically. I listen to a lot of audiobooks and I also read a lot of books on the Kindle app on my phone. Sometimes I just sit down and I would just read, like engulf a book like within a day. I wouldn't say I'm like the fastest reader ever. If I alternate between like listening to it and then reading it again, I fly through books. I don't think anyone maybe like should make this like a priority to read 15 books a month. I'm just crazy. I wanted to thank everyone for giving so much love on this video. Me reacting to Overcompensate by 21 Pilots. I appreciate it. I'm going to continue make uh, reaction videos, but I'm also going to continue making book videos because I want to. I have a song that's almost finished and I will have a music video out for that. Um, and I have some more cover videos coming. Thanks so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye.